Hello everybody, welcome to Marks and Marks. Today I'm going to be trying a slight variation of what I did about a week ago. I had some kebab meat from the freezer shop and I used that in a some kind of sandwich I think. Today I've been to <coughs> I've been to the chip shop where they sell kebab meat. I've got some kebab meat and some tandoori chicken meat. There we go. Uh, got it in this bowl here because it's uh, leaking. There you go. So I'm going to be putting that in a wrap. Or at least some of it. As much as I can cram in there. Into a double wrap. First thing I'm going to do. Get two wraps out of here. This is just basic co-op's own brand. The, the, the one that I always use. There we go. Got to employ the double wrap as usual. Over there. And, uh, okay, now I'm going to scoop out some kebab meat into a bowl. Because I'm going to put it in the microwave. To, uh, just to reheat. Okay, so, um, it's kind of a, it's, it's a mixed. Okay, so we've got donna meat in here. And we've got some tandoori chicken. So I'm going to be putting a bit of, a bit of both. In there, actually, I should do it this way. There you go. There was a third, a Mediterranean. I don't know what the uh, what that tastes like, but uh, I just went for the two. Okay, uh, let's see. That will probably about do. It. Yeah, that'll be about do it. Put a bit more chicken in there because I'm going to be putting some lettuce and tomato in there as well, and maybe a bit of. Uh, see what else I got before I put the kebab meat in to reheat. I'm going to prepare the. Tortilla wrap. There you go. I'm gonna put some put some lettuce in here. There you go. Actually, I'll crunch this up so it'll fit. It's very uh, yeah. I've given it a wash. It's still a bit wet. There you go. Some tomato. Uh, some lettuce and tomato. There we go. Put a good amount in there. Uh, one more bit. And then, uh, let's see what sauce i got. There we are. I'm going to be using the reggae reggae sauce. Jerk barbecue. Two out of three on the pepper scale there. And as usual, you see I'm uh, writing the date on the, on the label. That way. Because the thing is, quite often I have a lot of jars on the go in the fridge. So I like to... Uh, Put the dates on them so I know in a, in a few weeks' time I know how, how long they've been in the fridge. Yep. Okay, there you go. Not to put too much on there, but that'll about do that. Now I'm going to reheat up, the, heat up the meat for about two minutes. While that's going on, I'll show you a close-up of the what I've done so far. Mm, tell you what, that reggae reggae sauce smells pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, can, uh, you can basically, I mean, if you want to do, I mean, I've got, I've got some um, cold slaw. You could put that in there with the kebab meat. It really doesn't matter. Because basically, this is the kind of thing that they put in the kebab anyway. So, uh, you just uh, put your own version in there. There we are, kebab meat's done. Kebab, bit of uh, tandoori chicken. Okay, now I'm going to spread it into the... Uh, tortilla wrap. There you go. Put the uh, meat in first, I guess, and then the chicken on the top. There you go. This is actually going to be quite a a full wrap. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and spread the chicken out as best I can. Fold it over. We've got the double hinge as normal. Now I can feel this is a little bit more full up than my usual kebabs, uh, rolls, wraps. There you 
you go. Yeah, not as easy to fold as most, but we got there as long as you you know press it in. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, I forgot to put wraps in the microwave. The uh, tortilla. Lettuce, tomato, and uh, reggae sauce. I'm getting. Mm. This is good. The meat is uh, from a kebab shop, so it's uh, a little bit better than um, that frozen stuff I got. Oh, I feel the heartburn now. Mm. So, if you fancy a change, you go to the kebab shop and you tell them you just want a, a carton or a little box of that meat. without the pita bread and you can come home put it in your own tortilla wrap you know and uh, possibly save some for breakfast you know mm. it's a lot easier to handle than a kebab because I end up eating a kebab with a knife and fork because it, it, you know it's, it's stuffed so full it just falls apart And you can fill it with what you want. Cold slaw, gherkins, tomato and lettuce like I have. Anyway, there you have it. Hope that's inspired you. And uh, thank you for watching.